And right there, again, that was perfectly, perfectly easy. Yes, dive in, going deep, deep, deep down. I don't like this one. I don't like what's going on. Hi guys, my name is Anna. I hope you know that. But if you don't, I have my Telegram channel, which is completely free and we trade together right there on binary options. I have 12 signals a day in my Telegram channel. So just proceed, check it out and let me know. Hi guys, my name is Anna. You know all of that. We're going to be today trading, of course, on the Quartex platform. And we're going to be learning something, earning something, studying the strategies. And today is going to be the nicest one. I just really believe in it. Let's see. Okay, guys, that's going to be easy, nice. I think it's just going to be the fastest or the simplest one. Starting with the, all these currency pairs that we are having, with the biggest payouts, the biggest of the biggest. Okay, check it out. And right there, it's gonna be 10 seconds. So I'm just not gonna be simplifying that too much, but we will try to handle this 10 seconds. And here we are with the zigzag. That's the period. I think I'm gonna leave it. And second one is going to be ATR. Look at that, just to make it more visible and colorful, kind of cheerful. And the third one is going to be MACD. So we can finish just right on there. <laughs> you know how I love it, you know how I trust it, you know how I do recommend it in most of the cases. And that's it, ATR, MACD, and the zigzag. You know that the zigzag is way to addition right there, but ATR and the MACD are gonna be the combo. Let's start. Look at that, and guess what we're gonna make? Of course, we're gonna get into the upward one. The candles of the MACD turn green and trying to get above zero. The line of the MACD, the green one, is trying to get upward after the crossing, and that's the sign of it. And you may see also that ATR is a little bit, and right there, I'm gonna say that's maybe kind of the perfect combo because ATR is gonna show us what's going on with the candles, what are the intentions in the short term, and the MACD are talking about the big, big tendencies. Of course, MACD can also change rapidly. Sometimes it's giving us some opposite signals. Sometimes it's giving us a little bit info that could actually misguide us. But in most of the cases, that's perfectly working, stable, safely. And I'm just talking all of that in the beginning, just to remember if you forget something, just to remind you if you forget something. But and you may see, yes, 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 the candles of the MACD actually working also in together with the ATR. But ATR just with the line showing us a little bit of changing. Okay, that's it. And we start again. And again, we detecting some crossing of the MACD. Then we detecting the green candles trying to get above. And that's fine for us. And I'm gonna say that the ATR is a little bit giving us that it's maybe not gonna be happening all so fast. But anyway, I do predict that's gonna be the massive change. Let's see. And I'm gonna say with the ATR, we can actually predict how fast or slowly that rising could be. Is it gonna be the pure, the nice, or it's gonna be with some invasions of this orange candles or with some actually lateral situations. And right there, again, that was perfectly, perfectly easy. Look at that. And right there, I must say we needed to be a little bit for entering the trading, but I think this is gonna be the long trend. I, oh my God, I hope so, that it's gonna be the long while because the bottom is way, way lower than we are now. And we may have this situation with the green candles, we may play because you see the rising before was quite, quite 
I must say dirty one. So because it was switching candles and right there I've been thinking because the ATR, the MACD been showing to us that it's going to be the heel and they're still going to be continuing to close that. So that's going to be just, yes, diving, going deep, deep, deep down. Let's wait for that. Um, something about 10 seconds left. And you may see some green candle and the ATR has been showing to us that it's gonna be some problems with this pure, pure falling. But MACD candles, yeah, at that moment was purely, purely orange and huge. That was just enormously big. look at this peak and of course we're gonna be expecting that it's gonna be a bit changing and already the candles of the MACD and plus the ATR been showing to us that all the tendency is starting and of course we're just waiting for the crossing of the MACD lines the green line we are waiting for the green line to go downward and that's it that's gonna be our perfect perfect sign but that's it So look at that and of course i would recommend no atr it's kind of correct because we may see some green candle right there yep it is not yeah, but it's right there i've been yeah no on MACD right now we can also detect it because i just wanted to say that it's kind of the opposite to the MACD, but MACD is reacting a little bit later and a little bit on the bigger bigger event So the last one, just as I told you, it's going to be nice, easy and working. That's the bottom, or at least we expect it's going to be the bottom because, because I don't know why. Because maybe the candles of the MACD started to play, but of course I would recommend to wait for some stable signal from the MACD candles because it is still, could be the fallen. I never mentioned the zigzag because it is only for the biggest tendencies just to understand, just to see better. I don't like this one. I don't like what's going on. Maybe I was too fast in making decisions. Maybe I needed to wait for some better signals from the MACD. It is. Now it is. It is. And the ATR is still, it's a little bit too flat to see the big, big growing. Oh, please. Oh, please, 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 please. So I'm just a little bit, maybe too early and I needed to get, oh my God, that was, that was a little bit too soon in making that decision. But we were so correct about the tendency, but a little bit risky. Just as I told you, just as I promised, that it was perfectly working. MACD is just like working. And today it even didn't give us any, I don't know, any dirty signals, any bad info, any information that we couldn't actually trust. That was perfect one. That was just, you know, we can add it in the starting books and it's gonna be perfectly explaining how actually that works. So I just truly recommend that. And you can use ZigZag, you can not use it. It's not a big difference, but if you wanna just to see something on chart, that's the beautiful indicator for that. That's it.